Good evening and welcome to this new video about the props I've used in my workplace. So tonight I will mainly show you antiques that you may have seen on my sets these last months and we are going to dive straight in with one of my favorite props. I was so happy when I found this after weeks of searching. This is the chess pieces set that I've used in the French courts game or play. It's not from the 18th century of course, not even close to what we could find at this time as I was looking for pieces with human heads, human faces, so I could pretend these were characters from the court. This is a German set from the 40s and a one-of-a-kind, I believe, probably handmade. It is not in perfect condition. Some small parts are missing, but most of the pieces are still undamaged and I just fell in love with their look. Even if it looks quite modern, I believe their design was inspired by the Middle Ages. All of the pieces are carved from one block of wood with a square shape. So here we have the white king, the black king, queens, mm. the black knight. In French we call this one Le Cavalier, which means the horse rider. A white pawn. The bishop. In French, we call this piece. Le fou, the fool, mm. oh yes, a tower of course, this one is very simple. Bishop. All right. Let's put them back. It always feels like I'm playing Tetris. Mm. 
last one here The next props I wanted to show you are the bottles and files I've used in the hair parlor workplace. So I found many of them on secondhand websites and some of them are really lovely with very interesting shapes like these two very high, very Edwardian so. so these are probably from the 50s we can still see the labels one for the soaps and one for bath soaps from the north of France and I decided to add some kind of antique labels on them hair related of course and there was also is set two three and four these are very elegant probably from the third or 40s maybe and I really like their design it almost looks like it's crystal of the set is this perfume spray but it doesn't work anymore and there was also some pharmacy pots like this these are from the 60s and some very common bottles on which I added labels as well now let's skip to the tarot decks so I've used two different decks in the fortune teller wall play one small that you could see at the very beginning of the video and one that I've used for the reading This small one is very nice because it's made of paper and it has this authentic look that modern decks don't have Unfortunately, it was a bit too small for the reading in my opinion 
that's why I did not use it. Still, I really like how the back is made, even if the printing could have been better on the front. This is a reproduction of a French tarot from the 19th century. but with a medieval look. Madness. On each card, we can see two meanings, depending on if you get the card upright or reversed. Love. Desire. And the other one is a more modern tarot. It's from the 60s, I think, but still inspired by the Middle Ages. So, this is an original card, very shiny. It was way too shiny for my video. So I used tissue paper on both sides. And it did the job, I believe. So this one is very classic, seven of coins, the emperor, five of swords, the moon. I also read a lot of questions about the crystal I used at the end of this video. It is an obsidian mirror. A piece of obsidian that was polished until it looks like a mirror. It was and it is still used um, to practice divination, just as you would do with a crystal ball. The black surface is meant to help you focus and let your brain create images. I'm not sure I'm very good at this kind of explanation. As Dolly Parton said, the magic is inside you, there ain't no crystal ball. Still, I'm fascinated by crystals. There are so many that have amazing colors or textures and this one is really beautiful with a very mysterious aura. And 
this is quite heavy next antiques I wanted to show you are the stereoscopic slides and the stereoscope I used in the latest steampunk roleplay years old. You may be familiar with modern stereoscopes or these magazines where you can see animals in three dimensions with some kind of glasses. Well here this is the same concept but older. So there are two pictures on each slide with a slightly different framing and when looking at both at the same time your brain will create one image with a 3D feeling. This is something that cannot be reproduced on screen and that you can only see by directly looking at the pictures in a stereoscope. This one is about 100 years old as well, made of wood, plastic and metal. This is just a box that lets the light in through this window. So these pictures are mainly from Switzerland. Landscapes and people in the 20s. Let's see what we can find here. some kind of castle mm. people on leg side sitting on benches skip to the final items and these are catalogues. I wanted to end this video with some relaxing page flipping. So there is one that I used in my latest video where I'm on the phone with you for an order and I also found a few others in French this time but they were not really in very good condition that's why I did not use them but since they are about 110 years old let's not be too strict Stop.
start with this one so this one is from 1912 and it's about household linen This is from a big store in Paris and it still exists actually. But I've never been in this one. There is still a samples page in it. with fabrics so you could decide which one you wanted Have a look at the different departments silently. <laughs> 